Hi guys. In this lecture, we'll see how we can use the link widget. Link in the sense anchor tag. Let me show you what I mean by link or anchor tag. So this is the bootstrap and you see the A tag. This is called anchor tag. And whatever H reference we give here, uh, whatever URL we give here, on click of this primary link, it will navigate to there. This is called the link widget or anchor tag. We have, uh, so we can, um, we can deal with this particular scenario or we can design the anchor tag in two way in our systems. One, we have a link widget and second, we can also customize this using the HTML tag. The second option we'll see probably after some lectures, but let me show you the link widget. This is the out systems service studio. I have already created the application screen and uh, um, I have just uh, given the proper uh, title. If you just go here and see the link widget somewhere, we should have this link. We can just drag and drop this link. You see, we have a text here. By default, the text is link. Let me click here and go to here and this text. I can just change this text to my website name. So, out systems, systems developer school. This is my website where, where you can find some courses as well. So, now uh, we'll ha it is giving error because on click property needs to be uh, set. This is somehow uh, similar to the H reference, but not exactly. We can perform some other operations as well in this link. Let's see what are the operation we can perform. The same operation what we see in the button, we can perform here as well. We can refresh the current screen by just selecting the current screen. Let me just create a link, okay, for the current screen refresh. Let me drag and drop the another one. I will say refresh current screen so here i will just provide the current screen now let's just have a look to the another properties we can just navigate to another other screen as well so let's have a look at that as well so the third link will be navigate to login page we have only login page and uh, other page uh, let me just check what page we have invalid permission invalid permission under common we have this page and login as well so we'll just navigate to login page and see the other options we can go to previous page as well we can go to um, login page as well or invalid permission as well we can redirect to the url external url so for, for, uh, in this scenario let me redirect to my website so we will require to give a url we can just give a url as a hard coded value also we we can just uh, customize that as well right under the url we can just customize under the expression editor uh, it can be dynamic as well we don't have any suggestions because we don't have any variable available if we have some variables under the screen we can set that or we can derive that using the expression as per the requirement so https and uh, out systems developer school.com that's it now let's have one more scenario what we can do with the link open the or call the action call action we can also call the screen action you see we don't have any action here that's why it is not giving the suggestion if we create the action show message show message this is just the name of the action and under this action what we are doing we are just showing a message hi i am message that's it whatever we want to do and uh, it is giving warning because we have not used that so let me just open and on click of this call action under the link this is my link what i will do i will just call the show message that's it let's see let's see all these four op op options one by one okay let's have a look okay uh, this is the call action it will call the action and show me the high message right this is the refresh current page so it just refreshed although we don't see that but it has refreshed navigate to login page on click of this um, link 
it is navigating me to the login page. Let me log in again. Out system developer school on clicking of this particular link, it is redirecting me to out system developer school. That's it. This is the use of link. Uh, in general, we just uh, uh, in in this scenario as well we use we we can call the action as well sometime for deleting purpose right we have a we have a list and in the list we can show the we are showing the user information and we have a delete button here or delete icon here not button on that icon we can just we can just link that icon using this link widget to the action and from that action we can delete that row this is the uh, general use case where we use the link widget so that's it guys, that's it for this lecture. Thanks for watching.